Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to see about API testing. So many of the people have commented and they have requested us to create videos, playlist dedicated for API testing using Postman. So we had also created a poll on our channel in which almost 60%, 50 to 60% of the uh, students, they wanted to have some knowledge related to the api testing using postman and there was around 3000 people who had uh, voted on that particular poll now this uh, video in this video we will be covering what is api testing so we won't be directly going to the postman tool but mm -hmm. i'll give you on a very high level what is api what do you mean by an interface and and we'll be looking at some real-time examples so that you are able to remember such kind of things for the longer duration of time if you get such kind of things in an interview or if you have to you know do api testing in a real time once you get a job you might be assigned uh, some user story in which the website or the ui ux is not available you will have to test the apis only then how you can do it and what is expected so those all things we will be uh, discussing in this particular video we'll be seeing few of the examples related to the api right so this is the first uh you can say introductory video which is pertaining to an api api testing and secondly if you have any feedback if you have any suggestions then please let me know so we'll be improving because till now we will we were just covering mock interviews uh success stories videos and uh, job related job openings related uh, content but now this is the first explicit um, conceptual understanding that we are going to start right so see even i am a human being it might happen that uh, i might miss and i might miss few of the important aspects but as uh, you know we know each other so it's your uh, you know responsibility to guide me in which all things i need to improve you can suggest you can give some constructive suggestions and we'll definitely work on that so uh, let's start with this uh, video the topic is introduction to an api and slowly and gradually we will be telling you how to install postman that is coming in the next video so we'll be creating this playlist then in postman how can you test an api so all those things will be covering but before directly jumping you know to the very next step it is important to learn the basics and start from them right now what is a postman so postman is nothing but it's a tool now is it when you say tool so the next question will come in your mind is is it a free tool is it an open source tool or it's a paid tool now if you see selenium it's an open source tool there are libraries available you just have to use them right but postman there are multiple uh, things available so you can use it for free in this particular series we will be using the postman which is available for free and there is also a license cost associated with this particular tool so it's not a completely free tool it's not a completely paid tool as well you can use postman with the free use is also there right now what does postman do so it's an API platform. It is used for building and using APIs. You can use APIs, you can test APIs, right? So that's how you will be seeing it. And it's not like uh, Postman is only used for testers. Uh, sir, is it going to be useful only for testing team? No, many of the developers are also using Postman. Sometimes if they want to um, you know, see the response of their API and their API is actually interdependent, dependent on some previous prior api then they will create a postman collection suit and they will be keeping the apis in that particular sequence in that particular order so postman will take care of that this is how the development team members are also using postman they will be test using their apis they will be testing their apis using postman tool so postman tool is in demand these days you can see that in the developers machines also right you can create you can uh, you know build apis faster right so it's kind of a collaboration tool you can also share your collection you can share your api suit with someone else right? so those things can be done right then we have api repository so in this particular tool you will also have documentation related to the you know apis you can manage api specifications right now 
the the other documentations are also available. So if you see Swagger, Swagger is one of the tool in which the generally you know people document their APIs and then they will ship it to the customer. The customer will use that Swagger document in that they automatically will configure functions for get, put, post, delete, and you just have to click on that particular button and send the request parameters. Right, so that's how they will be working. Right now, Postman has what workspace as well. If you want to use it for your personal use, you can use it. If you want to use for public workspace, that is, you want to share it with someone, so you can use it. Right now, let's see what is an API. Right, right. Let's start from the basics of API first, and then we'll explore Postman tool also in the detail. What is an API? So, see, full form of API is known to everyone: application programming interface. Now, in this particular three words, interface is very important. Right? What is interface? Let's understand using an example. See, um, in in previous time, you know, I'm talking about ten to fifteen years back when we had mobile phones, but every mobile phone had a different charger, had a different charging socket, had a different uh, wire associated to that. So, let's say if uh, your mom and dad are using some mobile phones they will be having their separate chargers. If you, you and your siblings are using mobile phones, they will be having separate chargers, right? Different wires, different connectors, right? But in these days, in today, what is happening? We have got a common C type chargers, right? With the help of which you can charge your mobile, you can charge your tablet, you can charge your iPods, iPads, right? So all these things are available. So that's a common mechanism. Now, similar to that, if you see, you go to some ATM machine in which you can, um, you know, debit the amount in different currency types. So let's say if person A is going, he needs uh, uh, 10,000 rupees. So he will enter that amount and the ATM machine will process it and will generate cash for him in the rupee currency. Similarly, someone else will come. He will request for uh, amount in pounds currency. So that's how. And then someone will come. He will request for dollar currency. So the ATM machine is same, but it is processing different things based on different needs. Right. So what does interface does? So interface is nothing but it will do a common handshake. Right. Between the two parties. So let's say one party is there who needs money. Another party is the bank who will give the money. So ATM machine will serve as an interface. Similarly, at one side, you have mobile phone, tablets, and other electronic gadgets, which needs to be charged. Another end, you have a charger that is an interface. And within the charger, you have pins and other aspects, right? So that will be the another party. So there is a common uh, handshake is required between the two parties, party A and party B. So that is what interface does, right? Now, what is an API? Now, before telling you what is an API, uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you are going to an office. You are about to leave from home. Now, you are thinking you are in a dilemma whether I should go for via four-wheeler or whether I should go via two-wheeler. So, you want to uh, make sure that, uh, you know, if it's raining outside, you will go for four-wheeler. If it's raining out, not raining, then you might take two-wheeler or vice versa. So you will be taking decision based on the weather forecast. So you will open Google. You will see Google weather, right? So what is that? That is an API, right? It will, uh, you will request the data, the temperature of this particular city or temperature of this particular location. Let's say if you want to go to some other hill station, and you are going you are thinking you are in a confusion whether you should take winter clothes uh, you know sweaters and all those things with you or not so you will search the weather forecast for that particular location for that particular city right so what is that so weather google so google weather it is nothing but you it's a popular api example right it will provide you the weather snippets it will provide you the details of the weather right so whenever you will enter google weather plus your city name you will get a specialized box at the top of the search results containing the current weather conditions and prediction right so that's nothing but it's an example of an api right now google as we know it's not into a weather data business right it's a search engine 
but they get this data from a third party, right? They do they do this kind of information exchange using third party and they provide you the information which they get from that particular party, right? So they will be requesting some particular uh, details from them. They will be getting from meteor meteorological information, right? So that kind of uh, data they will be processing and they will be providing it to you. Similarly, if you see travel booking, that's also one of the important option of API. For example, you might be booking your ticket from IRCTC, right? But there are other applications also like IXEGO is there, which will collect the data. Now, if you see IXEGO, you will be able to see flights from one destination to another destination with one stop, non-stop. So all those details are available. So what that particular applications is doing is uh, they are using third party APIs to retrieve airline and hotel availability from suppliers, right? So they will be using this APIs to confirm all the trip locations and all those things, right? So that's how the API is there. So now if I tell you there is a data in some server which is stored remotely, which you don't have access to. So what will happen is using API, so you can get access to that particular data, right? So they don't have a frenzy UI UX. Let's say if you see amazon.com, you can see the shirts and all those things. You can see search options over there. You can see filter options, right? But APIs are just working on the basis of code. They are just working on the basis of programming. Now, if you see from the tester's point of view, let's say if there is a sprint and you have to test some particular user tool, but the development team has not completed the user stories UI UX features, but they have an API available. Let's say it's a uh, API which is related to the to the user management. That is create user, update user, delete user, uh, modify user, edit user, right? So these four to five APIs are already available. So you can test them with valid and invalid parameters, request parameters, and you can check whether the response is coming properly or not. So that's how the APIs are nothing but they will be helping you to test the backend. And when front end will come, there will be a handshake between front end and back end, and you would be able to see the UI. Then whatever uh, action you will perform on UI that will happen in the database. So, but by that time, by the UI UX is up and running, it is available for you. You can test these APIs and you can build up the confidence for that particular feature. So Postman, what it does is it can connect to some particular server, right? And it can exchange data using the program, using the code, right? It will do heavy lifting for you. You don't have to worry about how it does, but it will take care of all those things. So that's where Postman is useful, right? So I believe uh, this video, we covered what is an API, what is Postman tool, what is interface, real-time examples. If there are other real-time examples which you think uh, related to API interface, then please put those things in the comment section of this video so that people who are watching this video, when they will go through the comments, they will also come to know. And similarly, they can also answer such kind of uh, real-time examples in their answers in the interviews as well, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.